But recently, Busan National University has just released their new admissions guide for international students for the spring semester in 2022. So once you have reached their website over here, you can choose your own language, whether it's English or Chinese, or if you do know how to read Korean, go ahead with the Korean um, options. And for today, I'm just going to choose English so that everyone is able to read it. You can choose the admissions um, tab over here. Once you click on it, you can choose application guide. The new one for the spring semester is updated over here, as you can see. It was posted on the 1st of September. Once you come in, they have the new application schedule for the spring semester, the dates that uh, for the timeline of the applications. So for the spring semester, right, I realized that they usually go by the Jin Hak Apply website instead of the study in Korea websites that they used for the fall semester. So do take note from for that because it's different from the fall semester. The website link is over here as well. I'll put it out on the description box. So they actually updated it last week. Why they release all this information early is because of two things. One thing is that they do require you to fill up the application form, which is over here. When you come into a website, you can view it and download the file as well. Why does this application form takes time? It's because of the number of forms that's required. One important form that's in this document is the personal statement and study plan, which is over here. It does require you to fill up some questions about yourself, such as your self-introduction, education background, and so on. One thing that um, I think you should take note is that you can fill this form in English, especially students who are interested in the global studies degree. But most of the other degrees, right, they do require a Korean proficiency. So I filled up mine in Korean. My major was uh my major is international trade and why I think that this takes time is because one thing is that us as foreigners we our Korean proficiency is not that good. So I wrote mine in Korean first, then I asked some of my Korean friends to help me to look through and see what can be improved on and what information I can put in. So um, you can try the same way as well if you do have some Korean friends. If you do not have any Korean friends, I would suggest you um, to meet some Korean friends on apps or if you have been learning Korean in your own country and you do keep in contact with your Korean teacher, do ask your teachers if they mind like looking through your document to see whether everything sounds fluent, is like grammatically okay because Ultimately, our standard will not be there and they and Koreans will always know better as how something might sound natural but not natural to us, you see. And because they are natives, you see, so this will take some time to prepare how you want to phrase and answer each question. So this is uh, this form is actually um available on the website that I showed you just now and do follow according to this timeline. They showed you, they showed us this application timeline so that once you apply online next month, you can just submit it immediately after you have uh, submitted it online. So like they say over here, documents should be submitted via registered mail. So for Singaporeans, I would suggest DHL over SingPost because DHL is much faster and more reliable. Their service is also very efficient. Once you call them, right, you tell them what kind of documents you're sending. And for myself, the next day, right, they sent someone down, one of their employees down to uh, where I worked to collect my documents. And the staff actually prepared some, um, a few types of envelopes to see which one my documents um, fit better. So you don't have to worry about the size of your documents or like whether you need to measure them, the weights and so on. They will come prepared. So 
The thing is that DHL might be a bit more pricier, but it's really much more reliable, especially because you're sending in documents that have your details and some notarized documents as well. So just take note of that. So, but if for example, you really uh, prefer Singapore's go ahead, just that it takes a really long time, uh, it might take over a month. So um, really up to you on your budget as well. So um, over here, right below, they also have the contact details and the address for Busan National University. If you do have any questions, you can email them, which I find that is quite reliable, but maybe take like one day of waiting time for a reply just in case. So if you do have any comments, do leave them down in the, the comment box below. So see you guys next time.